Welcome back, everybody. Um, so last week, um, we had an interesting session where Aha was able to eventually bring uh, the group to the head of abjuration, uh, Aragwin, the, the abjurer, to, um, and she was able to remove Thoradin's curse as well as what seems to be remove the curse from the sword, the Bahamut's breath, that now Krusk has decided to take it upon himself to uh, attune to and wield, hoping, hoping, I suppose he's hoping that um, <laughs> he's not going to get turned by any kind, but we shall see. Um, <laughs> Once the uh, weapon was uh, removed of its curse, uh, Turigertha and Talari both left the Abjura's room and decided to explore the the, the library with Turigertha coming up to finding Arg in uh, in his office of the head of uh, head of evocation and himself the Archmage, um, where she revealed. A lot of what she says Sirik has been doing as part of the death cult with him wanting um, some help or a friend to uh, ensure that she's telling the truth even though she has some kind of evidence. We shall um, start first going to uh, Talari who has been um, wandering around uh, the library. First um, she was accost accosted somewhat by an illusionist that appeared blind who led her to a the head of illusions um, room where he offered to um, see if she wanted to go in, which she politely refused and decided to walk off. And Wasn't that polite? <laughs> <laughs> which, which, yeah. With which she decided to, um, to leave and eventually come back but still refuse to go inside um so we see her um walking wandering through the the library looking for what are you looking for today so i'm gonna go back right. to the head of divination room. head of divination the only one okay. i know of roll a history check for me please I'm gonna find... okay cool we'll start afresh 12. okay you have better success than um, last time, for sure. Um, you, uh, you do get stuck once or twice, but um, upon speaking to a few uh, Violet Road people, you, you get a sense that they are pointing you in the right direction. Cool. Um, eventually, you do pop up to the, the Head of Divination, the Diviner's um, room. I'll, uh, I'll knock on the door. There seems to be no answer at first. I'll knock again. Still no answer. I'll, just, I'll um, just sort of talk through the doors. Hello? Is, is anyone in there? <laughs> okay. Can I project? Is he already? Is he up? Does it that's sound like what you, uh, that's what you heard? Okay. I thought if I could hear footsteps, but no. Uh, can I do anything louder? I mean, you can. You haven't tried I'm opening not, on, the door, on, so oh, I could do. I thought they were all locked. Yeah, I'll try opening it. The door does open. You see a what seems to be a rather short man, just with his feet up on the. On his desk and with his like robe very far over his eyes, is um so it's a it's a violet robe with a a blue hood, and he does look fast asleep. Oh, he's got a he's got a uh what was it blue robe blue hood yeah, a violet robe with a blue hood. Blue hood, cool. I'll um I'll walk over to his desk, sort of knock on the desk. <laughs> <coughs> Not now. No. Go away. Uh, excuse me. I was uh, 
I was wondering if I could uh, use your expert knowledge uh, with a task I have. Do you have anything that will cure a fucking hangover? Oh. Uh, <clears throat> could cure you? I mean, out of interest. Mm hmm. I mean, I would have imagined that in the cleric cut, there would have been people hungover coming in. Mm hmm. Did we have a way of sorting that out or not? So, usually, restoration magic. So, cure wounds would work. You would need to have restoration in that. So, something that oh, would like cure. Oh, like restoration. Yeah. I don't have that shit. Uh... So, something that will restore, um, like, feeling like poisons and stuff, that will, that will essentially. Yeah. Um, Cure, cure wounds. I mean, you could certainly try it if you wanted to. Yeah. If that's what you thought of, but um, you get a feeling that it probably won't be effective. Yeah. That's a, okay. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, anything for that. Uh, then what good are you? I don't suppose you know mm. the spell Lesser Restoration or anything like that. What do you think I look like? A fucking cleric? Ugh! God, why are you talking so loud? Oh, oh, God! Funny. That's the last time I talked to one of those bastards downstairs. <laughs> well, at least you had some fun, I suppose. Oh, well, at least I would have slept it off. But God, no, now, oh, why? Come on, tell me why. Come on. I need your help to look for somebody. Oh, goody, that's all people want me for, looking for somebody, or something, what is it, what is time, a coin, uh, a weapon, uh, a broom, perhaps, what are you looking for? A person. Oh, person, the classic, let me guess, a long lost lover? It's not really important, but it's... <laughs> well, you might, well, Touch you might... a nerve, ooh! Well, you... <laughs> I mean, is this something you can help me with? Oh, I suppose, but... Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Is, is, is that you thinking? I don't... Do, do I have to? Like... It would be nice. Alright. How much are you willing to spend? Come on. How much is the cost? Depends what you want. Do you want to know if they're close? Or do you want to know if... I don't know. Where do you expect them to be? In this library or...? I have no idea. Anywhere. Oh. Run away from you, Azzy. It's not important. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> She's getting a bit agitated. <laughs> this guy uh, is obviously a wind up artist yeah. and it's great. Yeah. So is it something you can help with or not? And how much are the, how much is this gonna cost? Oh um, um oh, him. I love him already. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh Do I wait, let me see my book. Can you can you he points to like um like one a couple like, like two books on his shelf? Pa pass me those and let me let me see. I use mage hand. They're heavy books. Your mage hand does not um able to lift. Wow, I don't even know if mage hand can't lift it. I doubt she'll be able to, but you'll give it a go then. Well, mage hand is ten pounds. Yeah, you can lift more than ten pounds. <laughs> well, she's mm. got a, She's got a strength of minus one, so I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, ten pounds. It's it's five kgs. Like, you wouldn't be able to lift your own head. <laughs> you can oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I'll give it a go. I'll I'll do one, obviously, at a time. Okay. So they they do thump with a heavy thud. I will probably and... place them quite loudly. Oh uh, yeah, he'll he'll dash. Go. Oh, uh, not sorry. Too early. Up, sorry, upper too body strength too... is not my forte. Uh... What do I look like? A bodybuilder. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm looking. I'm trying to. Do you, do you want me to uh, look at this? Finding somebody would be nice. Um. Fine. So he flicks through the pages. Um. 
and eventually he comes up with a, a spell scry, scry, scrying right okay how much what do I need oh well I've got that oh it takes that long oh oh that's not good at all oh uh huh okay yep fine so is he claps be warned it might not work okay I thought you were the head of divination yes yes that's that, that's me but with with finding people with this spell and like you can peer over and if you speak gnomish you can read it um, no he, he, he points there and he's like there it says that the 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 person being scried could could resist okay that's that's a warning I see if they, want, so... if they try to resist, will it? Can it still go through? No. So if if they, if 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 they if they if they, if they resist, then they the, the spell's gone. But I still get paid. Hmm. What guarantee do I have that you won't just fake it and say they resisted? Well, you're the one coming to me, waking me up. So I guess it's either trust me or bugger off and lay me to my sleep. Well, let's see how well you do. So, who, 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 who am I looking for? So I'm looking for a golden dragonborn called Oryx. Golden? He, 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 he very lazily dips a quill in some ink and writes it down. Oi. You. You. Are. R. I. I X K Okay And Golden Yes Go Male If that oh. makes any difference L D E eh. N And So you can You can get the gist He's um Yeah Eventually Male So he eventually gets Oryx Golden Dragonborn Um Male Anything else That Approximate location that might help narrow it down. There might be another yeah. Oryx yeah. surname, maybe. Maybe Glitter Gold Town. Glitter Gold Town. That's what Siri said. Like that. Town. Okay. Got to okay. That. So, before I do this, that will be two hundred gold, please. I don't have it on me. Well, I've got fifty on me. I can give you that and then get the rest and come back. Please do come back. I will. If you, you know, yeah. I'll put the 50 gold down. Okay. Wait. And he writes 50 GP out of 200 GP. Fine, you're going to leave me back to my sleep then. If you your... Are you not going to do it until I bring the money? Yes. Alright, I'm going to take the 50 back then. And I'll say, right, I'll bring everything all at once. Fine. And he scribbles out the 50. See you then. ta -da. Right, I'm going to head off and go basically withdraw that and come back. On the way... On the way... I'm also going to be on the lookout... If I can't find the... Well, I probably won't find the Head of Conjuration Room. I will see if I can find anyone with red robes mm -hmm. and ask them where that office is. Okay, so... Or where the where the, where the the Head of Conjuration is and if he's in his office, where if his office is. Okay, so you're going to be heading to the exit and ask people... Yeah, this. so from that, from the divination, head of divination yep. to the exit, that's who I'm going to ask. And on, on route, you'll ask red people. Yeah. 
Sweet. Yeah. And then I'm going to go to the bank, get the money, come back to the divination room, doing the same thing on the way back. If I see anybody. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, you go do that. Um, so, um, we head back to everybody else who is currently still in the head of Abjurations' room. Um, she's, uh, Aragorn's still a bit um, faint, but she's up. Argus are already gone off to somewhere else and it leaves the rest of you there to um, to discuss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go no, over I'm and I'm pat okay. her like I'm on the okay. back while she's reaching. They're there. They're there. <laughs> Do you have any spells that can help? Please tell me that nobody else is going to bump me for a very long time. I think I think we found your weakness, Tori. <laughs> she's gonna I just she's gonna what stare at the road and give him a glare. Tori, <laughs> <laughs> I am not Tariki. weak. It is just. No, I have not trained enough in it. <laughs> you... Surely this means that we need to get somebody to bamf you an awful lot until you get used to it. Nadia That's understandable, says... <laughs> but when you break a bone, you do not run on it the next day. I never said right now. She's grinning somewhat. It's just... <laughs> Do you want to drink? Yes. I'll hold out her like her water skin. She put it in Tiri's hand if Tiri's not actually actually she, uh... She's not, her eyes are just closed. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I just need like five more minutes. Been teleported. A variety of other random shit, yes. Teleported, no. What did you tell him, by the way? Oh, right. So, I figure he's, you know, big magic man. He's seems like he's pretty high up here. So, I told him everything about the death cult. Do you, do you think yeah. we can trust him with the information, or...? Well, I see it two ways. One, when I attempted to see if he was part of the death cult, he did not answer in the correct way. And two, he has taken enough of an interest to come back with a friend to do a zone of truth. But I made sure that I was back here with you guys, so that if anything went down, I at least had backup. Turi, you're creating more loose ends for us. He could be going to get back up. He could be going to get back up, or he's stuck in a tower full of wizards. This is true. What? Probably a good thing you're not cursed anymore, isn't it, Thorodin? Yeah, I can finally smash goals properly. <laughs> not let's, let's try not to provoke them. As you said, we're surrounded by wizards. All I'm yeah. saying is, after discussing things with this arc, he seems very level-headed. And he does not seem like someone who would have a particular opinion of one side over another and simply takes the facts. He is the high priest of a neutral god. We're reading too much into him. How long did you speak to the man for? <laughs> Pretty much the whole time you've been away. So probably about uh, uh, at hour. least an hour. Well, that's good enough for me. So weapon. It's good. Yes. Husk has decided he's going to keep it. Yes. I've told him if he turns into a ravening monster, I'm going to cut his head off. I think these are all wise decisions. This weapon has a proud legacy, and we don't want recent events to to taint it so that that's all people remember it for. And if the curse comes back, she said it didn't say that it was gone completely. If the curse comes back and turns you uh, into a monster, I'm cutting your head off. I believe in the wizard. She she did good work. I don't believe in me, by the way. I believe in she you. She says. But I'm gonna put my go she... over to her and put my hand on her. I believe in you. You should believe. Mask is very forward. I apologise. <laughs> I just wish I'd never. 
doesn't the idea of that kind of thing happening terrify the shit out of you? Uh, uh, there's no room for fear here. We must, must look forward and continue to move forward. So okay. the idea... Where no man is... The idea that you would turn into a mindless killing machine doesn't bother you. It could be an improvement. I trust you will stop me before I get to that point. He might be better in a fight now. <laughs> That's chatting. Yeah, but he would be trying to kill you, Turi. That is not necessary. A lot of the time when you have some kind of killing machine, you tend to be able to point it in a direction. As I said before, I'm, I... It, it, what's the word? It reassures me that I'm surrounded by friends. I feel like you guys will stop me before he gets to that point. So you oh, would yeah, rather we'll have your head cut off than be a bit cautious? And Nathaniel says, I am a fucking nut job. What the <laughs> hell? We do the work of the gods. We none of us. <laughs> uh... <laughs> you need your head examined. This weapon deserves the chance to serve proudly once more. Oh. I mean, quite frankly, Nadia, look at him. He does need a sword. He does need a sword, but he doesn't need one that's going to drive him mad. Yes, but right now it's not driving him mad, and we we vigilant. We will keep an eye on him. Don't worry. Plus, as you said. He's willing to take the risk, and you're willing to cut his head off. So I see no problems here. Yeah, you know, the only issue with that is what if he manages to cut my head off first? Then I will kill him. I wish to be buried in Lyra Heights. If it comes to that. <laughs> if you've cut my head off, <laughs> that's not going to have much Any... of a consequence, is it? Any other dying wishes, Groska? <laughs> <laughs> do, do you want to write a will while we're here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just Froden, I'm going to rest my hand on Froden's shoulder. To you, I leave my bank account. Yes! <laughs> I hope that that's yeah. all I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, you do have witnesses now. That's that's definitely happening. I hope you know that. I also <laughs> ask you some of the funds to rebuild the cemetery at Lyra Heights. Uh, okay, let's handshake on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll shake his hand solemnly. <laughs> Everything's binding with a handshake. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Oh wait, so Matt, the wizard's awake now. Yeah. Um. So, wizard, um, Aragorn, if that was your name or whatever. Yeah. Um. So when you were dealing with this cast thing, uh, did you get any feelings of anything about how the sword got cast? I I know it's. Still not related, but uh, where it may have happened, or or when? Well, um, good question. I not thought that. From from my knowledge of the history of Tiamat cursed weapons and such, is they um the the people will. Go out into the world. Her, 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 her minions and such will, will go out into the world and bring her back artifacts of um, of power or anything that she might like. So either gold, shiny things, powerful things. Who knows? And she will. Um, I believe she effectively her presence corrupts mm. and over a period of time it <coughs> it's like a dragon curse of kind i don't i don't i don't know somebody so stole the weapon and it hung around her for long enough to get a curse on it that's bizarre yes and also what you're uh, saying is she's she's on this plane of existence she's not in her own realm like the other gods that uh, I I do not know. I'm, I'm afraid. I, uh, uh, funnily enough, I, I, um, the thought of um, TM kind of frightens me a bit. So um, I haven't quite been to to her city and um, tried to find out. Um, well, this is possible. She could be here. Well, this would be quite an interesting trip for someone to take such artifacts to her somehow. I mean, how would someone get to the, uh, the godly plane? If she wants to see them, surely she can bring them to her. 
That would be one hell of a trophy. The, the, Sorry, I just are... said, does, does she have a mortal? Does she have a presence in this route, uh, plane? That's what or... we're trying to work out. Uh, okay. Pay attention. Uh, I, 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 that I definitely don't know, but uh, she. Um, there, there are, it's definitely within the realm of her followers to have such magic to, to because um, a certain teleportation and conjuration magic can transfer, and some certain artifacts can transfer between realms. Could you perhaps detect a concentration or build up of these artifacts or magic? All they'd do would be like, oh, look, there's her city over there. Yeah, but you never know. Maybe they have uh, other bases or like somewhere else there, keeping the artifacts. You're better off asking a diviner about that, not an Apura, I'm afraid. I, 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 I remove curses and make protections, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do any of that finding shit. That's not uh, my, that's not my flow. We may be seeing each other again if we find more curse weapons. <clears throat> All cursed people. That Where's... is all your sh- own stupid fault, Thorin. We will try the, uh... to keep the cursed uh... people down to a minimum. That um, you're better off speaking to a cleric or the clerics in the in the city for for that they can remove stuff far easier than I can. I I, I have the power to remove the the, the 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 curse on on well potentially who knows who knows who knows um, on on mad on on powerful things. But on a on a common curse, to go to speak to a cleric. Where's the diviner's office? Could you tell us? We've oh. got to wait for the head priest to get back. That's fine. Yeah, we'll, we can go after. Didn't 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 Ark say he was going to meet you at his office? No. Well, at least Osi, I have absolutely no recollection. Sorry, apologies, miscommunicated. Uh, Yes, we will have to go to his office, which I totally remember the way to. Why have we been hanging around here chatting then? Well, he still had to go get his thing. I wanted to talk to you. What's (laughs) happened in the last hour? You have a list. Look Look at this sword. It's beautiful. Maybe we can stop off. I sat and stared at sword, and I sat and stared at Krusk. It wasn't very interesting. You were staring at me. (laughs) <laughs> I was going to see if you were going to jump up and try and cut anyone's head off. At least she's vigilant. <laughs> Terrified, Tiri. Terrified. And vigilant. You can be boss. Oh, well, yeah. Anyway, I will show you all oh, to the office. Are you sure you remember the way? I totally know the way. DM, also question, do I know the way? Eventually. Eventually. I oh, still stumble across the diviner on the way. That'll be a silver lining. Maybe we'll chip over to... Uh, not you are, Tiri. Uh, Talari. Hawk only knows where she's gone. I think we could ask the diviner that as well. Thank you very much for uncursing all the various things. Says Nadia to the wizard. No, no, no worries. Um... Uh, see you next time. Yes. It's possible. I, I'm yes. certain we will be seeing each other again. So that's probably going to be a next time. We are not very good at not getting, you know, cast or hunted cast weapons. Or we've done pretty well so far. So I imagine we'll be coming to you again. No oh, goody. <laughs> All right, Terry. Where's this uh, office then? It is um that way. You don't sound very sure. I um. Totally, totally <laughs> doing this from memory, and I am partially sure. Well, oh, it's better than any other direction. 50% sure, maybe 45. Put it down to 30. Why this way. you like, good at finding your way around buildings and shit? Isn't that part of your job, says Nadia, as they sort of walk off? No, because you just look for a particular target, and once you know where that is, that's a fine, whatever. Yeah, also, but... not many buildings look like this. I know. I'm not saying you would, but I'm, you know, you insult my job. I, I, I'm not insulting your job. I'm just saying. I <laughs> you're suggesting that I'm not good at my work. I'm just saying. 
She's killed a lot of people without getting lost. <laughs> so did you follow them? Yes, so have I! It's <laughs> <laughs> not saying that much! No. <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah, we have to actually find our way to the office. Yeah. <laughs> So with that, as you guys try and pick your way through the library, well, we'll head to Talari, who has been trying to uh, on a, trying to leave the library and on our way speak to a few conjurers to get ascertained a few things. So the general information you can get from the conjurers is that while he has an office, he's not there. And he hasn't been for a while. Oh, of course. Do do we do is do we know where he's gone? May his his students do not know. Maybe if you ask a fellow uh, head of a of a school or maybe the archmage, he would know. Uh, but, archmage uh, is yellow, uh, white, right? White hood. It's, it's a white hood, so it's so... Arg. Arg is the. But so he's an arch. It's cold. But he's an archmage he's... of evo evocation. Archma archmage is the head of everybody, but he's also the head of evocation at the same time. I see. So there's only one archmage. Mhm. Mm right. Okay. I'll have to look for him. Obviously. So the know. archmage is the high priest of Azuth, effectively. So there's only one high priest. Okay. So I'll probably look for him. And any other higher ranking red people, I guess. Not the standard whatever hoods they are. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, just go to the bank, get the 150. Okay, so you um, you can go to the bank. Um, so you can make a request for a withdrawal over of 150. Right. But um, they will need, they will take some time to actually get the funds to you. How much? How long time? About a day right. for them to go to your account to uh, the standard fair. Lovely. Um, okay. The the people are still counting your other coin to um to give you any of that to divvy up your share, so right. that'll still be effectively the, the end of the day tomorrow anytime. Um, anyway. Right, I'll tell them to do 200 then in the mean in that in, in then instead of 150, so I have money left over. Okay. Um, once they're doing that, I'm gonna go back in and look for the conjuration or archmage, whichever comes first. Okay. Um, there's only one head of conjuration. There's only one head of each of the schools. Yeah. So, oh, so the head of conjuration yes. already out. All oh, right. Yeah. You're only looking for the Archmage. Yeah, so I'll have to keep looking for the but... Archmage then. Fortunately. That's alright, you can get lost and bump into us and then we can all be lost together. <laughs> yeah, might just bump into each other. Yes, so fortunately, um, because you've gone out and come back in, you know someone would have told you that the, the Archmage is the head of evocation at the same time. And because Aha took you there, First, from the entrance, you actually have a better idea how to get there than the others. Right. I'll I'll head to Args then. So luckily, you'll get there at the same time. That's cool. Hooray! Hey, isn't that convenient? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hello. Oh, where have you been? Uh, just wandering around. Doing some personal errands. Okay, I take it you're here to see uh, the Archmage as well? We are oh, is this his office? We've finally found it. Well, it says there, but yes. <laughs> I'll just knock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Enter. Right, I'll open the door and go in. Okay, Obviously, I'll leave the door open for everyone else, because that'd be all rude. I'll hold the door <laughs> open as everyone goes in. <laughs> yeah, in we go, I guess. And I'll close it. I'm probably so, yeah. I'll let them speak first because I don't want them to. Yeah. So well, as you go he... inside, um, you see Arg. As before, he is in his gold robes and white hood, 
with sitting sat upon his desk with a uh, just a chant. So it's a guy with the green robes and um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a what color? So we say it's a blue, a blue dragonborn with green robes and a blue hood, indicating to those of you that know as a head of enchantment hmm. school wizard. Oh, so greetings, friend of Arg. Sorry, we got lost. Most yeah, do. this is just... I don't understand how any of you get anywhere in this place. Apart from maybe what Arg did. Oh. <laughs> 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 Worst spell really didn't agree with you, did it, Cherry? Well, it just... It just mm. You know when some people, they, they end up to, like, someone uses that fly thing on them and they fly for a little bit and they're like, people were meant for the ground, people were meant for walking places. Well, you don't like, you don't like flying, Terry? I just, I'm, doesn't like being teleported. I haven't tried that. Oh, I see. I got teleport. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yes, it's, it's good to know. I mean, you know. <laughs> In case you have to teleport somewhere. Yeah, exactly. You never just, know. Just please. Or if you need to fly, un, you know, unexpectedly. Just give me one day, please. Nobody, uh, who here has the power to teleport you? A little, a little bit. I don't. I don't know. Talari might. Look at her and her. She's look into her eyes. She is thinking about it. I will, can neither confirm nor deny. That means she is thinking about it. She's thinking about it. <laughs> She'll chuckle. <laughs> oh dear. Just give me at least a day. Uh, he's counting the time. So, Arg says to you all, uh, is this, and, well, just as mainly to regard first, is this the group that you were telling me about? Well, these are my, um, my companions. Companions, this is Arg. Daddy is going to wave. Yes, for those of you who don't know, I'm the the archmage of of the of the Withers of Zeus, and I look after also the school of my school of evocation. Um, I brought my friend here, the Gurkis, the the head illusion, the head enchanter here at uh, at my school to help uh, make sure that we're all going to tell the truth. Now he will cast a spell called Zone of Truth, and because of the size of my room, it will hit all of us. God damn it! <laughs> Shit! I was, Excellent. I was hoping to like just stand outside of this. Like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not involved in this. <laughs> well, to be fair, you don't have to answer. You're not. No. So this, you're not this, compelled this to tell the truth. No. So this is what he's going to say. So I've had some discussion with Gurkis and he's told me the way it works is you get effectively a choice to either resist or to accept and he will know if you resist enough to to not want to do it and if so he will try again I ask all of you please just accept the zone of truth as I will and out of fairness, I will answer any question you put forward to me as truth, and I'll speak as truthfully as I can. How do we know that he's just not going to lie that you've resisted? Then we're just going to all have to trust a little bit, aren't we? Mm. Otherwise, we're all in a bit shitty world. If we can't trust each other. Well, quite frankly, if you expect what I tell you to be true, then we are in a shitty world. The main thing that's been going on is that Turi Gertha here has... Um, my main questioning will be on to Turi Gertha here, but if any of my questioning leads to any of you guys, please feel free to chime in. As I would like the clearest picture possible. Matt, quick question. Hello. Is the shrine that's broken still on his desk? Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, so everything apart <clears throat> from the knife which you took. I took the knife, there. yeah. Cool. yeah um, still there. Another quick question is I think I missed 
part of what you're explaining. Like, OC, mm -hmm. what's the effect of the spell? So the effect of the spell is you can't speak a... If you fail or if you choose to uh, fail, you can't speak a deliberate lie. You can only speak around the lie. Okay, so I could say something misleading uh, as long as I didn't outright lie yes. if I wanted to. And anything my character believes to be the truth, I can speak freely. Yes. Cool. But you could also choose not to say anything. Exactly, yeah. If you want yeah, to. Yeah, no, that's that's cool. I just want to know, like, uh, what the restrictions on my behaviour are. Yep, that's fine. Um, I'll, I'll read out the exact wording so that we're all um, clear. Uh, That's quite possibly a good idea. You create a, a, a magical zone that guards against deception in a 15 foot radius sphere um, centered on the point of your choice within range. Until the spell ends, a creature that enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there must make a charisma saving throw. On a failed save, a creature can't speak a deliberate lie while in the radius. You know whether each creature conceals or fails on a saving throw. An affected creature is aware of the spell and can thus avoid answering questions to which it would normally respond with a lie. Such a creature can be evasive in its answers as long as it remains within the boundaries of the truth. So as long as you fulfill those rules, yeah. then that's absolutely fine. Absolutely. Um, and Arg will also be bound to those rules as well. So could you so, say, like, did you eat my bagel? And I can go, I ate a bagel. Yes. Cool. Yeah, that, would that is the that is, that is the truth. You cool. did eat a bagel. Eagle, cool. eat a bagel. You haven't confirmed or denied whether it was the particular bagel in yep. question. I don't know yes. why that was the example I came up with. <laughs> it's you like bagels for breakfast. breakfast. It's probably giving you bagels. It's probably Spider Verse. I kind of did that too. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Fair enough. Cool. So, yeah. So, yeah. so as long as you speak within the the, the realms of the truth, that's absolutely fine. Um, so if you are all happy, we can begin. Gurkis begins to weave his his magic, and you all feel the the effects of the spell in your in the in the in the room. Who wants to fail? Who wants to not? Who wants to resist? Nadia if, won't resist. If possible, I'll embrace the spell. <laughs> I'll, I'll choose to. Sorry, <laughs> <do it. laughs> Terry will uh, auto fail. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'll, I'll accept. On, my, my, my charisma is so bad that I'll just fail. Right? <laughs> I've had a thought, though, says Nadia. Not that. Uh, not that I mean to be suspicious, but what. Given that you're casting the spell and you're his mate, and. Uh, You've said you will answer everything truthfully and all of that as well. But we don't have any guarantee you haven't resisted the spell because he's the only one who knows. I said that. Those people <laughs> do not listen to the things I say. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think you might have cut out. Well, I think that might have been when my Skype failed because oh, I don't recall you saying that at all. Um, well, we just hit the mute button. I apologize. You when you were talking. <laughs> yeah. I said, no, I, dropped, I like, dropped out for a full minute. Oh, fair enough. Oh, oh well, a... Nadia, as we have no way of also casting Zone of Truth. Cos is going to cough at this point. <clears throat> then we have no option, do we? I, I can cast any truth. <laughs> well, is, is he going to do it? Well, that makes I, sense. I, was, I thought then. you said, I thought, didn't you ask in character, but like you said it on Discord? Yeah. And you basically said no. You, uh, before I had said, if you either trust me or don't. Yeah, he basically said no, so... Was simply a suggestion. Cutting on. <clears throat> oh yeah, I do have the energy. <laughs> Why do you have a skull? <laughs> <laughs> that Serious is a question. Great, <laughs> that is a great question to ask him. That is. Because <laughs> it, it's just been cast, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It has yeah. just been cast. Uh, Talari, did you? I tried to fail. Okay. Good. Uh, he um he looks at the skull and says, "That was the skull of a former master of mine." Uh, oh, that is really creepy. Do you have permission to use that skull? I love it. Did you kill him? Did you get or... consent? <laughs> oh, he he died. Um, not by your hands, though. <laughs> not not by mine. He died uh, of his own own ill will, 
and uh, because of such, he treated me, and because he treated me poorly during my training, I, I felt it only right. To keep his skull. You felt it right to take his skull. Did you remove it from the body yourself? How else do you remove? How else do I have the skull now? Then he has a fair point. Someone would have to remove it from the body. And you know, like take off the skin and take all the eyes out. Yeah, and take the teeth. Like, we want to take out the muscles and the tissue. It's absolutely not why we're here, guys. Is this legal? (laughs) Not why we're here. I'm here now, aren't I? (laughs) Did he he not have like a necklace or something? Uh, sometimes souvenirs have to be like true, proper, good souvenirs. I totally understand where Arg is coming from. So does that mean yeah, if you die, Turi, say... we could just take your skull and just put it somewhere? <laughs> I mean, quite frankly, you if you've it? earned it, you can do what you like. You mount it to the wagon. That'd be a good place to put it. Maybe we should take it in turn to prevent us getting uh, off track. <laughs> <laughs> so the truth's a bad <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it was a serious question. For <laughs> once, I have no secrets. It's so liberating. I'm, I'm completely open and honest. If some dude has a skull, it's going to be a bit intimidating. <laughs> Only if you're the kind of person who's intimidated by skulls, Thorin. I didn't think that you were that kind of Thorin, person. I just want to smash skulls. That's, that's, Maybe he smashes them because he's intimidated thing. by them. I mean, yeah. smashing is one thing, but taking them and wearing them as an ornament on your magical staff that you carry everywhere is like another thing. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with souvenirs. There's no problem at all. Maybe he wants you to be intimidated. Mm. Have you thought of that? Oh, oh, you had your first question now? <laughs> That's great. Turiga, do you still have the blade on you? Yes, I do. I'm just going to draw it out and hold it in front of you. Ooh, says Krask. What is the purpose of that blade you're holding? Oh, this is unfortunate. <laughs> the the death cult blade that I've just pulled out. Yep. Um. So this is a uh, this is like a gift that you would get for years of service, and it is very light, very swift, and very good for cutting throats in the night. It also absorbs people into it. Do you know anything about that? No, no. No, that's the no, wrong, no, knife. wrong knife. No, that's the wrong knife. Oh, so, so Chris, we'll This, this is this is the death cult knife that your daddy yeah. had. I thought there was any. Oh, it's two knives. <gasps> two knives. Oh god. Have you seen the spooky <laughs> knife? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> you could yeah, you everything I was just thinking. Some of some of you had seen its effect. Rec- yeah, you've yeah. seen its effect, but no one's probably seen. In character, seen it. you won't mention it unless it's pulled out. So I'm not. Yeah. It's not pulled out. Actually... I'm no, sure, it's, I'm not, it's not that dagger. The service you are talking about, what would exactly the service ent- entail? The uh, service would entail fulfilling contracts gifted by high priests of the death cult uh, for basically murder contracts, life for a life situation. These contracts are often signed in blood. And this, these contracts are done by people, are uh, fulfilled by people like Sister G. Yes. And I've, I have fulfilled a, a few contracts. How many? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could dance around it. I'd say. Mm. <laughs> I'd, I'd say for probably in triple digits. Wow. Wow. Like one that point is... 1.20. Take it as you will. Okay. One point that's, zero. That's, Im- that's impressive. That's impressive. The, unfortunately, in this case, um, the nature of your guilt is not in question. Uh, <laughs> but. We are trying to ascertain the guilt of another party. So, to your understanding, who does this cult that fulfills these contracts and writes these contracts for, who do they serve? So, originally, I believed they served Tyr, but as it turns out, they are being bamboozled by Sirik and I am not entirely sure how many 
of the cult members believe it is still there, and how many know that it is truly Seric. Do you have any proof that it is Seric that is the head? I have the words of another. <laughs> who? One who has no reason to lie. I'm sorry, Tarikatha, but you're going to have to tell me more if I'm to believe you. He's not the only one who wants to know how you found out. Before before Tiri answers, I'm going to hold up. I have a question for you, if that's if you don't mind. If, for me? Yeah. If okay. what Tiri says turns out, what will be your course of action? The course that follows after this is a heavy one. Mm-hmm. First... As if well, if if Turigertha is able to provide enough proof that it is Siric and not Tur, that is the head of this death cult, then it is my duty to inform the the other high the other inform the capital priests and even the priests of priests that a a breach has occurred and that Siric will eventually lead to his death or attempted death at, at this point in time. I think it's going to lead to his attempted death regardless, says Nadia looking at Turi. If... Yes, I would actually like the uh, opportunity to kill him myself, if that's cool. Uh... That's currently out of my hands at this time, but I'm sure we can see. If you are unable to prove it is someone else than Tur, then the evidence points to Tur being the the god, the perpetrated god of this death cult. With such, he will fulfill the same rules. Oh! Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's not cool. <laughs> what will happen you... to us? I mean, uh, will we be or are we free to go about our lives? Well, with the um, magic we have at our disposal, you will you should be able to be free to go, and we will be able to locate you if we require any other question. If, if we require any other information from you, can you guarantee that I will be able to have a part in the death of Sirak? That's not my place to make such a promise. I'm afraid. I can only report what I've, what my findings are, and it's up to the capital priests to deliberate. And the priest of priests to decide. Spoken like a true politician. So, Tiri Gertha, do you have proof that it is indeed Siric? I was spoken to by a god. And which god? He is not a good god. That is irrelevant in my mind. Just if he has proof, then we can ask him if he can his proof. I thought he would give you exact answers, but uh, you can try. He is Baal, the god of murder. <gasps> Why would the god of murder be? Why would the god of murder approach you? Really? She's an assassin. Because he wished to tell me the truth. And actually, Tawari's got a really good point. I'm an assassin. I kill people. That's what I do. What's his uh, stake in it, though? He thinks I could be useful to him. Makes sense. I also think he could be useful to me, so... Win-win. Not sure about this, but... So... How did Baal give you this information? He told me in a dream. In a dream? Okay. Uh, a vision. Uh, I was in my sleep, and then uh, in the vision, I was spoken to by Baal, and he told me everything Sarek had done. Why did you believe him? Because he has no true reason to lie. He gets you as his agent. 
this may be true. It's not but... like she's the only assassin in the world. It's it not did... like she's the only assassin in the world, but nevertheless. Also, he did not tell me this after offering me my position. I was offered the position after he told me the information. And quite frankly, over the years, some small things about the cult did not quite add up. And I mean, now look, they do. Look at Krask. I can't look up and down at himself. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel much like Tear, you're quite right. Not you, the cult. <laughs> okay. This is from Tear's teaching. My father began to think that perhaps, yeah, there was something wrong with the cult's teachings. Sirik must be made. Maybe, maybe he discovered you. that Sirik was the one in charge. Maybe that's what he felt was iffy about it. I still have the diary. I do. Sirik mentioned in the. Be that they were beginning to doubt the cult's teachings. But not. Do you have. You have. Proof, uh, further proof of the cult. Oh, I have the diary. <laughs> um, check the word. You guys carry on. I'm just going to read for it quick. Do you get out? Um. Yeah, I would take. But like while I'm reading, Chris is also reading. <laughs> okay. Terry isn't the only one who's been visited by a god. Okay, they they explicitly. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll look at Arg and I'll say um, I have a which was written by my my fathers uh, who were members of the cult or at least one of the most and this is of sentimental value so I'd rather not of course you're welcome to read it make any copies that you need to okay okay I'll you hand it over. Kind of reluctant. <laughs> yeah, that kind of. Okay. You'll take it with reverence. So, yeah. Excellent. Good. Thank you. This will um, help further evidence. As he flicks through. Um, yes, this does indicate proof that um, is also the high priest. That is also um, part of the the collusions, the, the conspiracy. So we got now bring down this whole zone thing. Yes, I think I thank you for being so open to this. I, I certainly understand it's not uh, something that we can. Uh, it's easy to trust someone, and I, I, I do appreciate that your your willingness to to at least speak out against this cult and the the evil gods that are perpetrating it. Cherry isn't the only one who's been visited by a god. I've had three so far. <laughs> okay. Do they relate to the death cult? <laughs> the balance of the world is shifting. One of them wants a war. One of them desperately does not want a war. One of them simply wants things to stay as they are. One of them wants a war. I thought that should have been mentioned uh, earlier. So, you're telling me that you and the rest of you we are all god touched. We are all god chosen. Well, which, well, which gods have you been chosen? Which gods have chosen you? Is, it, is the zone still up, or has he turned it off now? It's not off yet. Fuck. Oh, Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, originally no I was chosen first. by Cedric. <laughs> I think he's lost that particular game. So you were, uh, and you now serve Baal. Have a partnership with? Uh, mutual beneficial relationship. I'll take that as a yes. 
There's nothing mutual about doing something for a god. Well, it's funny god's doing something back. for you. Yeah. Crusty's going to be like looking over to Talari. <laughs> if Crusk says anybody other than Tyr, I might actually die of shock. <laughs> <laughs> Nadia is grinning as she says this. She obviously doesn't mean anything by it. So. I'm looking at Talari. I'm just trying to go hello, Crusk. With. Uh, Talari, uh, the wizard asked a question. <laughs> I know he did. <laughs> She's not answering it. We, we so all honest. promise. And share everything as friends. Don't have to. I mean, come on, Talari. What could be worse than the god of murder? Seriously. <laughs> we need. Are you invading my personal space? Am I? Did you say? <laughs> no. As in, that is as bad as. We... The be the gods who have who have contacted me are my business. They don't pertain to this business with. The death cult, which I'm means look... it's not relevant for this conversation. I'm gonna look over to Arg and see how he reacts. Okay. But and the the rest of you. But Arch Wizard, what if it's important without Talari knowing? I mean, Krask, you're also kind of dodging the question. <laughs> yeah, you haven't answered I, yet, Krask. I... Oh, I, I served here. I'm I'm a tier man. <laughs> <laughs> we you've, noticed. <laughs> you've, you've been approached by Tur. Yes, several times. Oh. oh. <laughs> yes, Tur. <laughs> and ignore the laughter. That's not in character. <laughs> and what? <laughs> what has been the purpose of his conversations with you? He has warned me of the encroaching darkness. Um. Uh, okay. what's what's this world called? This land, we'll say. The realm land. Um, sorry. Realm land. Realm. Land. Yep. So to press in, uh, that will engulf him, and he warns me that his power is fading, and, and that act to rid rid the realm of corruption before it's too late. In his most recent appearance, he appeared much weakened. I was most distressed. Did you do yes. not think this could have had some kind of relation to the whole death cult situation and all the other, like, nothing? Really? I... How can you say, oh, I... you didn't tell us that earlier, and then not have told us that? You don't have I've a damn all... thing to I've... stand on. I hope... <laughs> oh, pump this round. So... Arthur, you can't hear you. No, Terry's just, just... She's just... Uh, <laughs> just making a gesture, Arthur. As, as far as Cross is concerned, like... Oh, I'll say this in character. So I'll say... When Tyr warned me of the growing darkness, I warned you of the growing darkness and the corruption. Yes, but you didn't mention the whole him getting weaker and weaker. This could have been kind of important to, you know... The cult? And was, the was... sword? And possibly a few other things? I was very distressed to see him like that. It's a sort of justice. It was corrupted. Tear yeah, justice, no? Well, true, yeah. But, like, apparently they go around corrupting all sorts of shit. So I don't know if that's, like... Just a... Doesn't matter. It's all got nothing to do with Tear anyway. It's part of... It's Bahamut's, isn't it? Well, exactly. Yes, but it's still justice. That's yeah, different. They share justice. It's not like one gets a little piece of justice and the other gets a little piece of justice. It's just a shared thing. Is that how that works? Uh, <laughs> I was... I learned something about here since... Um, his power is... Because he's imprisoned somehow. Do you, would you know anything about that? And you didn't think this was important <laughs> Wow. I tell you that Cyric has been lying <laughs> as Tyr for, like, however long, and you don't think to mention wow. that Tyr himself is possibly imprisoned. And getting well, weaker. And getting weaker! You've all, you've all been very hard to my talks of Tyr in the past. I, uh, I thought I'd keep it to myself. Wow, yeah. that's the thing you keep to yourself? 
Really? After our conversation in the little house? That is how you feel? Chris is going to hear his throat and say, Arch Ar Wizard, what do, you, what do you make of this? <laughs> so you're telling me that Tyr, the god that has chosen for ascendancy, has chosen an individual to uh, participate in the world for his gain. Even though he is participating through ascendancy. Does he seem annoyed when he says that? Because I don't like where this is going. <laughs> or... He seems shocked. <laughs> okay. um, he's, he's, he's saying everything in a very matter-of-fact tone, to just getting yeah. the facts out. Uh, I don't fidget. think he liked that. Not for his kicking. He loves thinking he about this. Of, of the coming darkness and corruption, emphasis on... I also learned through the dreams that I've been having that it's indeed growing weaker and he is indeed trapped. Someone or something has impressed Perhaps that's why he's growing weaker. I don't, I don't know. But he's we have undergoing to... ascendancy. Of course he's growing weaker. Oh, he, has to, he, has to be weak, he has to be weaker to take on whoever the, the capital priests choose to become his successor. If he... well, surely that's all thrown into question now by the, the cult. We can't allow one of them to ascend to the... Uh... Well, actually, okay. just, just a point, like, when I was first contacted by um, Sirik, the lying bastard he is, um, he did actually mention that uh, <laughs> again, all friends now, totally not endangering any of you. But uh, mm. when, when he first mentioned it, he did say that uh, somebody seeks to end the ascendancy and told me to that you will likely all the group do it, and that I should sabotage you at every turn. Someone might mention something. He's I... not the only one who said that. <laughs> yeah, I was. I and was OC, I'm desperately looking. OC, I'm desperately looking through my notes because I've <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. got something in here. <laughs> Yeah, I was tro I was told that none of you are good people. <laughs> not trust any of you. Hey. Wow, your gods are. So, I mean, we're all we're all friends now. We're all friends now. I mean, quite frankly, Fulton, yeah. I totally get it. I mean, yeah, yeah. We're, we're not a really good people. Wait, 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 wait. Well, Nadia, maybe, Cross, maybe. <laughs> but I don't think the rest of us are. I'm a nurse. You exactly. Someone warned I'm you people. that that one of us would stop the ascendancy. <laughs> Well, not one of you, but someone uh, aims to stop the ascendancy and that this group would be involved. Although, it, I mean, that, that's, that's the <laughs> thing. <laughs> like, I feel like Sirik would lie, but now I'm not so sure because that sounds quite truthful. He's a god of lies. Sort of quite, looks sort of quite shifty and say, someone would stop the ascendancy. Let's see, hmm. <laughs> I hypothetically may that it may be necessary to stop the ascendancy. Why would it be necessary to stop the ascendancy? I mean, this is hypothetical. I'm saying, if I was told, it's the fact that there is corruption on this plane, and before it's too late, ascendancy likely before one of the corrupt ascends to godhood. That's a very specific theory. <laughs> that is a very, very specific story. It's just a bit. I have to say, this is all the truth is great. Get all I that feel yeah. so, like, weight lifted, so relaxed. So, by now, the the zone has has finished. Would we know that? Yes, you, you will feel it. Not uh, for you're not forcing yourself to have to not lie anymore. Um, I am green with purple spots. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Shuri, you're a pleasure to be around. Yep, definitely. <laughs> oh, come on, that one's mean. Don't worry, I'll just cut her in her sleep. Oh. You can try. Let's not do this again. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Shuri, don't, uh, don't, you, don't you see? This is, we figured it out! <laughs> Shouts, Krusk. Only because yeah. you withheld Was information from us. Were you told to end the ascendancy? Yes. So, who else? 
I so understand turn... the zone of truth is not happening right now, but who else was told to end the ascendancy? Nadia's gonna shake her head. No. 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 I, I was just promised golden glory. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay. So, so Tur told you. Tur told you to end, end ascendancy. So it's Tur. Got to kill Tur. Implied it. Oh shit. <sighs> Oh, oh, no, we have to save here. Okay, 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 so I kind of got what you're saying. What you're saying is, your terror doesn't want someone from the cult telling, becoming a new god of justice because they're corrupt. So he wants the ascendancy ended slash delayed until the cult is dealt with and... Obviously, Sirik told me to stop you in ending the ascendancy because that would ruin Sirik's plans. Yes. You'd think, as a god, that the test for the ascendancy would just be something that the Death Cult would be able to like pass. Ah, uh, you'll be surprised what we'd be yeah. able to pass. I'm the just test saying. Isn't the, <laughs> the test isn't defined by the is isn't written by the god. Right. So let me guess. Is the test written by the, capital, by the god's please? priests? It's uh, it's a collaboration of the capital priests that they deliberate for a fair amount of time. So. And Gasol's about to become a capital priest. We must no, call. Oh. Our course of action is clear. Then we must the cult and save here. So basically, the plan that kill we had, the capital priests. Basically, the plan that we had originally. Yeah. Yes, but now it's Except even now more we important. Know why? <laughs> yeah. Oh, at least we know why. Why? I call a little bit why, frankly. And we're going to kill him regardless. I mean, that is beyond the point. I still care so to know why. Sure you do. As an assassin. Has, now it's even more urgent people. that we do it. Have, have these gods marked you in any way to show you as... Oh, yeah, Thorin, Thorin's going to point. Show him the brand. Thorin's not wearing a shirt. Thorin <laughs> never wears a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, He's boy, just going to start flexing, <laughs> you know? You all, right. yeah. you all have that same mark. Yes. yes. Uh, I don't know if Terry does still. Does she still? Yes. Okay. Yes. Just check. Yes. She will still got in touch. She's just a different guild. Yeah. So she will just be like, "Yep, yep." So all of your gods are all part of the same conspiracy to end the sentency. I said no, no. when well, you asked me that. No. But if because... if what. He, pointing at Krusk, is saying that Tyr implied it, or said it. And Tyr is the one that is a violating of the rules, as a, of ascendancy. <laughs> and all your gods are of the same branding of you, all of you. All of your gods are forfeit of the same... Not necessarily. Well, not necessarily, because um, all you, didn't you're, you're... really care about the ascendancy. You're assuming that the brand being the same means that the purpose is the same. That is, that's. Well, so I think. There's no I think breaking. That. Maybe that's just what the imprint a god leaves, regardless of what it is they're doing. Just saying, it's for hard example, to say that for example, was... if Turi was meant was touched by this by Cyric, he clearly does not want to stop the ascendancy, but he's got the same brand. She's got the same brand. That's, that's a very point. good point. But if Cyric had wanted to. Have you blend in? I assume he would have given you all the sa you the same mark. Of my God has said nothing about the ascendancy at all. Neither is mine. Actually, actually, that's yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's exactly why uh, I had the same brand as all of you. Yeah, Cyric, I can to totally. It. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. But my God hasn't said anything about the ascendancy. But okay. Paul doesn't there... care about the ascendancy. There is. Paul's well, a good lad. <laughs> Thank you for them. We all, we almost understand the implications that are going to be thrown around here. It is my duty as a high priest of a god to report back and and inform the capital priests and even the priests of priests of of what you have told me today. That theory is evil. It must be false. I will, I will have to tell them everything. About the death cult, about the fact that Tyr has broken the rules of ascendancy, oh, and that he is, I mean, he and, that he is 
and and that he has at least collaborated with other gods <laughs> for whatever means. I do not know that Question he's collaborated. For you. Question for you. Yes. I have heard that if a god is due for ascendancy mm -hmm. and they are found to have violated the rules in any way, yes. they lose automatically. That is true. Perhaps you should consider the current person in a position of power in that church because the if the head of this cult is become the capital priest, he would be the one with the final say of who gets to challenge the god, wouldn't he? Mm. Or at least have a very heavy part in who got the yes. god. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, sorry, and my, you my rules of the he's a prick. Crazy. Yes, fortunately, and... he is not a capital priest yet. Yet. Right. Uh, because I just want to make sure that if you do say this, and Tyr is disqualified, I suppose would be the right word, that that doesn't directly play into the... Death Cult's plan. Yeah, the unbalancing. We can't take the risk because in, until we deal with the cult, we don't know how far they've infiltrated the church. I agree. Certainly. That the... So we can't trust the church, really. So we can't inform them about here. Yeah, they're just going to swing it back on us. We cannot trust. Down. We cannot trust um, the church of Thur, but we can trust other churches. I have not known the death cult. Uh, to intervene themselves in any other gods. It has only ever been Tyr. I'm more concerned about the like the council of priests. Like we can't inform them that Tyr. I think it would be a bit harsh for breaking the rules, but we can't inform them that Tyr has acted slightly independently. <laughs> I, I mean, um, I mean, on a technicality, the, the, he has. The, the rules. The rules are clear, but I, I certainly agree that uh, we need to be delicate with how the information is is disseminated up upwards. Mm. We, uh, I, we, do, we do not know who is good and who is bad, and unfortunately, um, there's just as many evil, about just as many evil gods as there are good gods, give or take. Well, that's the point, isn't it? Well, that's the po that is the purpose of... This, yes, and this is why that the cult cannot be allowed to rule the ascendancy. They would replace one of the good gods with an evil one. Shifting that balance. Shifting yes. that balance. A balance that is already shifting. Oh. 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 <laughs> Effects that are already being felt in the world. Yes. Steps in motion. You need to help us get to the get to the priest before we become the capital priest. Yeah, we got to take him down. Well, he, he did request the head of conjuration to take him to the capital, mm -hmm. and my guy is currently en route to uh, Tear Town. How far on the route? Oh, wait, he's still in Tear Town. He's not. <laughs> I haven't had a report from him to say he's there yet. No, I think he means the, the high priest. Yeah. The, the are, cult leader is still in Tear Town. I sprinted all the way to that farm. <laughs> we, have to, we have to get to him quick. He could have been accepted. <laughs> Was that only way we could get to Tear Town before your conjurer? For us to get there. Or for you to get there. For... Well, multiple, whichever option is quickest. Well, I can certainly ask my my conjurer to slow down. Where is your but... conjurer at the moment? I I do not know. I'll have to try and contact him. To... He can teleport. Why didn't he teleport himself to Tear Town? <laughs> yeah, why is he? He's <laughs> just running, walking? He's running there. So... Good exercise, guys. Am I being <laughs> stupid here? You, you're not. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, because of how... 
certain teleportation magic works, you need to have at least know where you're going. And he's never been to Tear Town before, has he? Exactly. What a beginner. Wow. Oh, <laughs> only he's the, the uh... head of the school. He can't be a beginner. Can you? The 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 head of the head of the. Can you teleport us to Tear Town. I haven't been there either. Oh God damn it! We'll have to run. Do you guys ever travel? travel? I've been, well, However, I live there. Do help? you have any way for us to travel there quickly? Like a, uh, a um, oh, I don't want to say, no. like some kind of flying carpet <laughs> thing? Broomstick? Well, no, However, you can just ask the conjurer to slow down. Could you, you not tele- could you not teleport Crust. us to the conjurer? Please don't teleport us to the that's not how teleportation. Crusk could draw you a picture right. of Tear Town. Yes, I can. There we go. Skill. And you know what it are exemplary. Like. I could probably <laughs> also draw you a pretty good picture of Tear Town. <laughs> or I could just give you a magic my, my minor illusion of what Tear Town looks like. Yes. I prefer the version where I draw. Okay, <laughs> Stellari, have to one up, whatever. How, how good are you at drawing pictures, Crusk? I am we exemplary. All, we all have access to maps here, don't you worry. But to, to be as <laughs> certain that you are going to reach your destination safely and guarantee that you will get there, you need to at least be in there first. There yeah, is, I... uh... is there no actual shortcut way around this? Well, I mean, well, is there anybody here that has been to the <laughs> Well, there is another way you could try. Oh god, why does that not sound good? Take it. I'm not sure how the bank is going to like it. The bank? <laughs> no. Uh, that, that That's not so weird. The gold, so, gold teleporting. The gold teleport. So, how each bank works is that every single insignia you see on a bank is a teleportation circle. <laughs> now, I'm not sure you ought to be telling Thorin. Yes, yes, yes. Now, <laughs> the, um, the bankers generally have used said teleportation circles to ferry themselves forward and backwards to Joaquin City so that they can store money in, the, in their vaults in Joaquin City. I'm not sure... But I'm sure you could ask them if you would, could use the, their teleportation circles. It may not be free, unfortunately, because as anybody, they're greedy fuckers. Who, who is such... in these days? If We're willing to pay any price. If you think this is such a good idea, perhaps the request would be better coming from you as the respected leader of a church rather than some random people. Indeed. Why would they have any reason to help us? They're motivated by money mostly. But a later recommendation from you would go a long way. Say, so if this is a Talking surface right. that could easily be paid for, we wouldn't be the only people using it. Indeed. I've never seen anyone do it. Also, it does it just transport money, so it's not <laughs> set up to transport humans? Like people? Well, the, the people, the person carrying the money goes as well. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Normally, I thought it was just the um, normally they have. Um, High-ranking officials will have uh, rings of some kind that will um, assist them, or at least make sure that they're able to remember the the numbers, the the, the pattern of the ring they're going to. It's teleportation circles are fascinating, but it's not my area of study, unfortunately. Um, I've got to get one of those rings. <laughs> so eye on the prize, Holden. Eye on the prize. <laughs> I think he has got his eyes on Side the prize, quest. But a <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Big gold prize. What do you want all that gold for, Thorin? <laughs> I think he wants to bathe in it. A rainy day. <laughs> he has an obsession. Oh, is there any way you could delay telling the council about what you've learned here? I can delay some. Okay. That's all I ask. Uh, Much appreciated. I, I certainly believe telling them about the death cult is imperative, mm-hmm. especially if we want you free uh, need to talk to Baal and follow his 
a chain of evidence to see how he knew mm-hmm. or, if, or how he found out. Um, the, Just to give us a little time to deal with the cult or the or the priest. The fact that Tyr has broken the rules, <laughs> while he may have a good reason to, and He's still certain, certainly the death cult is a good reason to, They're, the rules are still broken, and there's only so much I can do. Now, if the council decide to react differently, that is up to them, but I'm I'm not a capital priest. I I have no say in that. Is there any way we can get like an update on what they decide or like what they're discussing or something like that? Uh yes. Almost I can I can there's there are certainly uh ways to send messages across long distances. Um I can um I'll sp- I'll speak to the head of trans- transmutation and see if you can get us some some kind of um messaging devices to you Let's and he'll in the meanwhile I can certainly give you a letter of recommendation but only if you're willing to do me a favor <laughs> oh God. You've what done us thinking? quite a favour. So, I learnt of this when I was out looking for Gurkis. And it seems that a student of necromancy has decided to set himself up on Kellen- Kellenvor's island and decide to raise a bunch of undead. Nadia looks very uncomfortable at this information. Oh, interesting. We, we have recently dealt with undead. Yeah. We're actually pros at it. Yeah, well, cross the pro at it. I wouldn't call you a pro <laughs> at it. I mean, we have experience, sure, but uh, not the... Yeah, Regardless, the first yes. time I've seen some. Where is this island? Kellen Bros Island? Uh, so, if, um... Can you give us the world map back? Yeah, I'll give you the one up. But, so how, how um, he's going your... to mm-hmm. look for um, a window, and effectively, the oh, Kellenvors okay. Island is this uh, draw shape. It's this island. So you you guys are currently here. In um... I guess this isn't oh, like, like this a park. This, so this this section here that is cool. Kellenvors Island. So, this, what, this great so, big bit? Yeah. How close is your companion to Tear Town? Like, it looks quite far seems, away. This, the dealing with the this island. issue seems like it would delay us and make us waste time that we don't really have. Well, I could certainly ask my companion, my, the, the head of Conjuration, to slow down and not it get there. It would have to slow to... down a lot. Like, I a need... lot. That I do not know as of right now. I need to really speak to him. If you if want to figure that out, but for now, if you are willing to, is that Kel- is it this the same as Kellenball Wastes? No, uh, no. Kellenball's Waste is all the way down to the left. I'm Fine. Do we in... do we know anything about this island? Oh, is it known for like anything? Was it just like an empty island? So, Kellenball's Island is named as such because Kellenball is the god of the dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Kellenball's Island, as such was an island there for burial. A lot of dead were ferried there um, to to be buried and have rites put upon them so that they would be put to rest. Mm -hmm. But ever since, um, you know, the the Holy War and such, the the dead have been been rising. And so um, that's why you see the dashed line on the world map is that that bridge has been broken. Uh, okay. Oh god, so we have to go all the way around. Can we not take a ferry? Or do we have yeah. to be dead? <laughs> <laughs> so, um. What was the actual request? Kill him, I suppose. I do not know um, what has been going on with him, 
but it seems that he's been trying to amass some kind of undead army going on. Now, cool. I do not ask for you to take on this army because that is a task that is left to to me and my my wizards. We we can certainly take on an army, but we can only distract. We can only offer a distraction for him while you guys slip around the back and um, take him out while he's distracted. Is this Sounds legally? Good. Is this legally sanctioned? Like, do we have the right to just go and execute him? Well, I'll leave it to you to decide whether to kill him or not. I, I, <laughs> he is a. Is raising the dead a crime? Depends where you're standing. I think. Where we're standing now is it considered a crime? It's it's kind of against school policy. I, <laughs> the, He's breaking the, rules. I'll take way, it. Yeah. The way He's criminal. That, we'll go kill him. That's the enough. way that necromancy is taught here <laughs> is that Jeez. students do certainly go to Kalimvos Island to practice raising dead. <laughs> so at least they they see and understand and know at least the. Uh, the threats and the warnings of oh, raising the dead. We, we, we teach That's understanding so that when they are unlikely and unlikely to uh, break out and and do bad things. The, the, hi, hi, certainly hiding information is a bad thing, as we have seen in the past. Cross is well, going to add educational reform to his list of things to do. <laughs> what you're basically saying is we get to go to an island with a bunch of undead, we get to kill a necromancer, which oh, I've never done before. I think it will be very interesting for all of us. Or and enough. you're also going to help us. I, I see this as a win, 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 win. How, like, do, we come get on. To, how do we exactly <laughs> sneak around the back when it's surrounded by water? Yep. You take but... a boat, Talari. Do we have a boat? Oh, yeah, do this... you have a boat? Can we... Can we take a boat? I'm sure we'll have a boat. You'll have a boat? Are there sea monsters? We can certainly provide a <laughs> ship for you guys to, to sail around. Right. And if we get the ship. Oh, Come on, guys. Wait, wait. wait. The Are ship will not crackers? be yours. <laughs> Shall you know? It is still property of. If we get to us. ride the ship. I've never ridden the ship before. No. With any luck, there... it will make you as sick as the teleportation spell did. Really? Will it? Yeah. The ship's not more comfortable. Are there Don't any monsters we should we should be worried about? Any krakens? Yeah, or like Loch Ness monster type things. <laughs> sea turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what either of you are talking about. This sounds like made up words. <laughs> a kraken is a great big thing with loads of tentacles that eat ships. It's a giant octopus. Are there any giant sounds octopus? Sounds like a versi kill. We should go. It's a hard fight. But you, it's worth it. For the purposes of your journey, I doubt you would need to encounter such thing. Okay, as you will, I suspect you will mainly be staying near the shallows <laughs> and going into the depths. Now, I only ask this of you if you wish. I, with By doing this, I shall write you this recommendation. This recommend, but a good recommendation. I can also provide you with... Gold? The feet. Magical items. Oh, that works. Wish. That's out of character. To keep? Or for the helping with the killing undead? If you are to die, I'm afraid it'll only be temporary. <laughs> so what you're saying is we Bring get to back. keep them as long as we survive. You saying they're pretty yes. dead? Yeah, I thought they were resurrecting items. Or do you mean like they're like on loan until we die, sort of thing? No, if you die, they're only <laughs> really temporary, isn't it? So you get their okay. permanent. Yeah, you'll only you... have them for a short time. You'll only have Basically, them it'll yeah. be a risk of death. Which we are all very common with, I think uh, it's fair it is, to say. I do, it is very important that you understand <coughs> that it's fairly dangerous. Oh, hey, yeah, what, what's the magic items? <sighs> Sorry, Nadia, you probably have a slightly more interesting question. <laughs> well, why can't you send somebody of your own round the back? Why are you asking us? Suicide squad. Well, it is mainly a transaction we can both benefit from. <laughs> Fair enough. If that's it's, all it, I, I am curious as it's, to it's why... Mainly, if we were me, yes. you would send someone else then. Yes, I would. Is um, 
but there's a risk to my my students that I would not have to would rather foist off on somebody else as a matter of convenience yes it's a worthy cause but my biggest concern is that we won't make it to tear town in time so if you can confirm that your your companion your fellow wizard can slow himself down enough then I will need to talk to him first okay I suggest that um, we break for the evening uh, and we come back upon the morrow and we discuss this. One more question uh, for you, Ark. <laughs> How do you detain wizards normally? That have, do you have like magical handcuffs or shackles? Or I don't think they're going to be necessary, Grusk. I think this is more of a kill, get out kind I of don't, job. I don't like the idea of us being a death squad. I think well, if possible we should capture him and bring him back. For, oh, I think we should just kill him. The other thing, Krusk, you have to leave that to you. <laughs> the other thing, Krusk, if, if you only capture them, though his undead horde will keep moving. I kind of feel like we're being hired as a death squad here. So no, mag- no to the magical restraints. Thank you. We can certainly provide you with squad. them. I shall leave it to you to the side of the time what uh, path nice to is necessary. We, we, yes, we, we can, we we can certainly we can certainly provide you oh, with them. Normally uh, the best case is some kind of gag for their mouth as well as something for their hands. Excellent. I Stop being so bloodthirsty, Terry. That <laughs> seems like too much effort to go through when we can just I just think smash quite frankly, this is, this is the rule I have never killed a necromancer before. <laughs> You've probably never killed a necromancer before. I, I think this would be a necromancers. Exactly. I don't want to be anywhere near a whole island full of fucking undead. Yes, good but experience. exactly why you should kill one, because then you know how. I don't want the experience. <laughs> but think of the benefit. If you kill one, there's less undead. It's better for you. Yeah. You're saving thousands. Any undead at all. Why you should kill more necromancers? Yeah. More or... necromancers dead, less damn dead. Or we, face your fears. we arrest all the necromancers and bring them to justice. Yes, that would be. Or we kill them. Or we arrest them. <laughs> or you do one and then the other. Cross can bring them to justice, sentence them to death, and then Tyrion can stab them. I am so okay with that. <laughs> can I smash this skull after? Sure. <laughs> okay. What would be the point? Let's see how the smashing it, sound? It, it's yeah, it's satisfaction to me. That's disgusting. <laughs> if, if we're going to a place full of corpses, it's you're probably gonna be crushing skulls wherever you walk. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna get so much mileage out of divine smite. <laughs> 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 I could imagine you sim cross saying that as a well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, cross, your good loves you, we know. <laughs> I'll make my sword glow with divine smite. <laughs> what God does is let me teleport. Let's just hope that your sword doesn't get evil in a place full of corpses. Oh, I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. I am not sure it'll be fine. Why did you have to remind me of that? <laughs> he hasn't got a backup, you do realise as well. So if the sword does go a bit evil and he has to put it away, he has no backup unless he decides right, he's going to headbutt everything. Get yourself a sword that isn't evil. We'll get ourselves it's equipped evil. for Rico. I am yep. a sword of tear myself. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, you're, not, you're not sharp enough to cut somebody in half. Trust. <laughs> okay, no matter how hard we swing he's, you. He's, he's so big you're enough. You're going to have to get yourself. <laughs> I fought with these hands long before I fought with a blade. Well, we could always use one of um, Thoradin's axes, I suppose. He never uses them. Yeah. He uses that damn warm hammer I've, of his. I've got like eight javelins and stuff, crossbow. I don't know. The, the, sword, the sword is a noble weapon, but I will I'll take your less noble weapons if, if needs be. Thank you. <laughs> Regardless of whether or not you take me up on my offer, I will still speak to the head of conjuration and ask him to slow down until you also oh. reach tier tap. Thank you. Great. That was very much appreciated. Dealing with the necromancer does seem like a good idea, though, so it would be good to do if we've got time. If you deal with the necromancer and get teleported by the bank, we'll be there a week before we would if we just hoofed it. This is true. Well, true. depends how long that it takes true. to get then, doesn't it? I mean, come on! We go way. out the back. He's asleep. We stab him. He we dies. We arrest split. him with the, with the. Sorry, unit. sorry, sorry. He's asleep. We cuff him. He dies. I mean, <clears throat> we take him in. I don't know why this is even a surprise nowadays. We've spent enough time <sighs> together. We know how this is going to turn out. How many people have we come... arrested in this time? The one person we did try to arrest didn't work out so well. Did we? Oh yeah. <laughs> However, sure everyone we've killed, it worked out pretty well. I agree with Polari. Well, they definitely Surprise, I know. It's been like roadside attacks or like evil giants. 
up till now. Yeah, and they're still dead, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, but... If we I, mean, I, get, I, I don't, I don't see you trying to arrest the giant. That'd have been a <laughs> I mean, If I had cuffs big enough to put on him, I would have tried to arrest him. You mean like, <laughs> that, you mean, you mean like I that... Wa I wanted that gold. You mean like that slaver as well, how you tried to arrest him? <laughs> he is... Uh, I gave him the chance to walk away several times. No, you didn't. I won't. Is this before or after you stabbed him? <laughs> yeah. I, I've I've very, seen you in that rage. I very clearly stated to him that he should walk away. Maybe he in an inside voice, Krask. But... It was a sanctioned duel. Nothing more. Out <laughs> 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 uh... of curiosity, how is Owen taking all of this? <laughs> He's, him and, him and Gurkis are looking on with uh, interest and amusement at the same time. It's, about, so it's like watching a load of bickering kids, isn't it? <laughs> it's very interesting. Right, uh, so, so I guess we haven't got really much of a choice. We get these magic items that supposedly help us, and hopefully won't be as shit as Guile's ones. And then we get this, <laughs> we get this boat, which may or may not make Turi throw up. And then we sneak around <laughs> this island made out of corpses and kill a necromancer. It's not made out of corpses? Is it made out of corpses? I hope it's not made out of corpses. <laughs> I don't, I don't think it's made out of corpses. It's a bit I mean, of the ratio right. between corpses and the ground is probably shifted. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like undead. I think this is going to be fun. You're weird. Very true. We're all weird. With this, the corruption will recede a little bit further. I'm most pleased. <laughs> Another thing off your list, Cross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Ark, these magic items lay upon us. <sighs> well, I shall take this evening to gather up some of the the best of the magic items I have to, at my disposal. Good. And at least offer them to you if you so wish to choose them. Again, we shall. I shall take a final answer from you in the morning, just so that we are all on the same page and not make any hasty decisions. As I am aware, and I'm sure you're aware, you may die. Yep, but your world that's kind of our lives. Yep. It works for me. My life is always on the line. <laughs> <laughs> you. Were... Cross, you risk your life every day walking out the door. Opening <laughs> <laughs> his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Asking about people's families and the past. Hey, I'm, I'm social. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, no. <laughs> okay. So, I should bid you all a good night then. Good night, um, wizard. I see. What time of day is it then? Is it like late in the day? Um. Well, it probably says good evening then. Um, it's probably around five, four, 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 five o'clock in the afternoon. The shop's still open. Yeah. Okay. Perhaps we should look at some equipment before we go back to the inn. I uh, can can I ask... Where do we wait to see uh, what these magic items are first? He's uh, going to show them to us tomorrow morning. He said that three times now. Exactly. So we we'll wait until tomorrow morning, yeah, then... get our magic items, see what, then see what we need. Yeah, like that's a fun point. Anyway, just in case. We don't need to RP if you don't want to, Matt. If it's just like a simple transaction, I'll just minus the gold. But if there's going to be more, then I'll, we'll, I'll wait. What are you trying to do? Just want a shield, basically. I, I discarded it. want a shield. You yeah. want to go, go to uh, Smith's Alley? Yep. Do you, anyone else want to go to Smith's Alley or go to the inn? Oh, I'll uh, go to Smith's Alley. Nadia will probably go to Smith's Alley. However, before she leaves, yeah. like the weird wizard building church thing mm -hmm. she's going to ask somebody um about getting her talking thing made better Two oh see oh, i like looked it up and the best thing for like long distance messaging is like a item that costs telepathy apparently but like oh see i have absolutely no idea what you have in mind so and My nadia thoughts. has less than no clue so uh, yeah, she's just going to ask somebody, possibly Og. If if he's busy, she'll ask some other bugger. Um, he will say, um, I will have my um, head of transmutation whip something up for you. How about that? Do you want payment for it? 
Oh, no. I, I like you. <laughs> do, do you. Do you like me too? Or... Who do you want to talk to, though, I don't know. Anyone that can uh, upgrade my Warhammer. You can probably find somebody to be smith longer? Sally. <laughs> no. Is that something just you could help with, Talari? Bit of uh, magic imbuement. Not for Thorin, no. Uh, any, <laughs> of, any wizards down in the library will you better speak to about that, I'm sure. Who's who's the best? Any wizard down there will be able to help you. Go and so, ask them. What you them. do? Go. What you do is you challenge them to make it the greatest. At which point, they can argue worth, it out among themselves. Tell them it's worth extra credit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can argue out among themselves, and then you'll know. If you if you already want a, a magical item that is already imbued with magic, try Smith Sally as well. They may already have already pre-made magic items. No, I, I, it has to be this Warhammer. I'm a uh, special connection to Warhammer. Okay. Will they still be working? I want to know how magical weapon is forged. Yeah. <laughs> this, yeah, that's about. It should still be going on. Out of interest. Go down to Smith's Alley. It'd be very interesting for you, I'm sure. Out of interest. My main thing is. Thank that... you very much. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not really in- interested in magical items as such, uh, but magic in general. I was hoping to see the head of conjuration for a personal matter. As they are not here, I have one of two options, I guess. is either somehow communicate with him privately over long distance, or if there is a second head of conjuration or beneath them that I can talk to. Uh, I'm afraid that there's not really a, a second in command system here. There's only really the heads and the and the archmage and the the capital mage and, and such. So if I wanted to find another expert on conjuration magic, mm-hmm. who else would I could I talk to? Nobody apart from anybody. Anybody with a red robe. Are they of a high but... enough level? Of what, what I'm asking. Or wanting to know, it's pretty most. It's a very high level thing. Then at least good luck to you on finding the right one of them. The 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 only rank only ranking we have is of the the head of the school. So and, and such up. Clearly, then that's the only person I must speak to. But is there a way for me to speak to this person, ideally privately? Is there something you can facilitate? You could just wait until we catch him up and ask him yourself. That would that not necessarily be in private, though. And there's no guarantee that we'll catch up. We can stand to one side and you can have your private Whisper. conversation. Mm. <laughs> Somehow I don't trust at least half of you. <laughs> be right back. I, I would speak to you about talking long distance. I'll speak to either a, a transmuter or even my head transmutation about that because that's beyond my expertise to know that. In terms of if you want someone that is guaranteed to know what you want to know, then the the head of conjuration is 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 by far the right person to ask. Well, yeah, by uh, talking to the head of transmutation, I would very much uh, uh, be grateful. Yeah. Yeah. I I shall uh, ask for his presence tomorrow then, Thank as you. well as instead of just asking for items specifically. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to ask of me before we I bid you farewell? Thank you very much for your help. Yes, most it's been most insightful. Say he's the person who dodged answering basically every question somebody asked her. I didn't say it was insight it was insightful for you. <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> insightful for me. <laughs> <laughs> yep, if you have nothing else to request of of Ark, then um then feel free to leave and 
uh, head to over to Smith's Alley. We can go yeah, shopping. Yeah, this is next... a good point. <laughs> shopping <laughs> session. Yeah. We can go for a shopping trip. Right. Okay then. Three, two, 